Greetings traders, Jason here with SwingHigh.com. It is Monday, November 16th, 2009, and the markets are up big today. Um, this morning we had a, a bunch of economic data come out. We had retail sales, Empire State Manufacturing Survey, and business inventories all come out uh, at 8.30 and 10. Um, for the most part, they weren't fantastic, but at the same time, they weren't too much worse than expected. Um, I'd, I'd like to call those mixed results, if anything. Um, but retail sales, despite despite the fact that if you took out autos, um, it was a little worse than expected. The, um, other retail sales numbers were better than expected, so that acted as a catalyst pushing us higher today. Um, Bernanke spoke, and uh, the markets liked what they heard, I guess. Um, We'll take a look at that. Uh, tomorrow, look out for the pro producer price index at 8.30. Uh, the Treasury, what just happened there? The Treasury International Capital and uh, Industrial Production. Those are going to be some big numbers tomorrow morning. So anyway, here we have the markets. We gapped up above two major resistance lines. Um, open pretty much at the 10, 110.40 area on SPY. Uh, popped up to the 111 mark, found resistance there, and um, from there we made new highs, pulled back around the time Bernanke was speaking, um, but then that was just a healthy pullback to support at 111, rallied further, um, put in our highs at 11 or 111.69, and uh, that was about the time that Meredith Whitney came out and talked about how bad the banks are. Um, I'm not exactly sure what her comment was, but she made a comment about banks' fundamentals not being so great. And then we sold off, and uh, we actually broke below the support at 111. But uh, shorts started to cover and uh, broke back above it. Found some support at 111 and closed the day higher at 111.20 area, 111.21 to be exact. So spy up 1.45%. The Diamonds up 1.3%, the Nasdaq up 1%, the Russells up 2.64%, big move in the Russells, and the Financials only up 1%. So the Financials were the weakest, although they weren't terribly weak, because uh, across the board, stocks participated in this rally. Uh, it was a very, very broad rally. Uh, like I said earlier, the TLT, which is the bonds, they were higher today, which is a little skeptical, something to be wary of. The tick was obviously bullish in the beginning of the day, drifted back towards bearish, and then had a nice bearish spike uh, around that time of the Meredith Whitney comment, and finished bullish. The trin was insanely bullish for most of the morning. Um, I guess not really insanely, but very bullish. Uh, and. Uh, we also had a spike up in the trend, meaning that more volume flowed into stocks on the decline at that point, although there was still more volume flowing into stocks on the rise. Um, it was just a bearish spike, meaning volume picked up on stocks that were declining, although it still wasn't very bearish. The VIX, the VIX is only down about 2%, which you would expect the VIX to be down at least 4% on a, a day where most of the broader indexes were down about a percent and a half, or up about a percent and a half. You'd expect the VIX to be three times the inverse, and that would make it down 4%. So the VIX isn't really corroborating this move, which is natural because we are at some lofty heights on uh, the markets, and uh, traders don't seem too convinced that we're heading much higher from here. So on the daily chart of SPY, this is what I see. We definitely broke out. This was not a down leg, not a swing high, because uh, we did not make three consecutive candles with lower swing highs and lower uh, lower lows and lower highs. Uh, it was just a little bit of a pullback, if anything. So we gapped up and kind of broke out. Um, we could head higher from here. Next support I see is... Uh, the 113 area, next major support being 120 on SPY. And uh, we'll see if we start to make a pullback here, and um, we'll go from there. I do want to reflect on my personal trading abilities, and I'll have a reflection post out next week probably. Thanks for being a part of SwingHigh.com.